big, big ones, big ones, big ones. All right guys, so I sit down and edit the video and I see I like don't have an intro anywhere. So welcome back to another video. In today's video, we got to go fish with Justin Lucas, which is super cool. Basically part of like an Abu Garcia campaign, they basically went out and asked basically you guys, like the people who watch fishing videos are interested in fishing. What are like the top 100 lakes? I think they did in America or in the US. I think, yeah, it was just the US. So basically Lake Gunnersville, which is like two hours north of me, which would kind of be considered like my home lake. There's Logan Martin that's pretty close to me, but Gunnersville is like the bigger, you know, Gunnersville is like a premier lake, I'm guessing. Well, it was actually top 10. So Gunnersville, like, Gunnersville was ranked top 10. I think it was like six, maybe. I guess I should probably know. Let's see. I don't, I don't even know. Gunnersville. Yeah, Gunnersville is ranked number six. Gunnersville is ranked number six. So I was actually able to go out and fish Gunnersville with Justin, which is like really cool. We caught, we caught a few. Well, you'll see in a minute. You'll see here in a minute. And I'll kind of explain the rest of it to you in a second. Guys, I just caught this big fish. <laughs> you done? Yeah. See you later. Oh, sorry, guys. The camera was off. The eight, because I remember catching the clear lake in a little tournament when I was like twelve or thirteen. Or I was talking about that with somebody. How often is it that a new bait like that comes out? You know, like a Senko, then like a Chatterbait. You know, Chatterbaits are still fairly new. You yeah. named them right there. And then, like a or Ned like Rattle Trap. Ned, Ned has been the last yeah. big one. Right I got eight back there too. I think you caught the one I had. I didn't say anything. Yeah, I didn't want to look like a dummy. Both those bites come way up there? I bet that's fun on the lake with the wrap boat. And then you come back the next day and everybody's in your circle, your little area that you were fishing. So I got two pairs of boots with her. Yeah, there's just one. I hope so. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's taking me on the boat. He's big, dude. He's big. He's big. He's big. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Big. Oh, double hook. Oh, double, double, dude. Big, big ones. Big ones, dude. Big ones. Double hook. Pulls down. Pulls down. That's all right. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to switch? Hey, cheers. There you go. Yeah, another one on the front side. We're just targeting some holes in the grass out here. You got your first one of the day? I did. Number two. We got a, this is a little so, bit bigger than mine is, but. That's all right. Hey, fish is a fish. Yeah, so we're catching them on the front side, and really we just got out here. I mean, we've only been fishing probably a little over an hour. Yep. The front side's working. No one is surprised by that, though. This bait is killer. So I'm throwing a uh, new Veritas PLX. It's a 7.6 medium heavy winch series. It's a moderate action. I can cast this bait a long ways with it. And I, I feel like I just get really good hook sets on the fish with it as well. But that with the MGX. So uh, I like the MGX just because of how well it casts. But you could use any, you know, any six to four one or six, six, one gear ratio reel. The key is just that it's a little bit slower. I'm just fix, fishing with a little bit more luxury right now in this MGX, but uh, that and of course 12 pound fluorocarbon, trialing 100%. And a Fritz side five, candy apple red. This bait, the last couple years since it came out, is, I don't, there's no telling how many fish it's caught. It's just a killer bait, fun to throw. It's big. We just gotta find the big ones now. Oh, um, inshore fish in South Carolina. Oh, okay. Good, bro. Fish landing violation, fools. <laughs> try throwing it out there and try like cranking it down and ripping it and then letting it sit for a second. Right in front of their face, like they're tracking it, yeah. they can't stand that. Okay. So like reel it and then like like that okay. almost and then you go pick up the slack. So you out here I learning. Had a couple bites out there and I missed them just reeling, so I threw back in there and did that and I caught that one. All my bites have been on a pause, like you just stop reeling let's Yeah, that's cool too. Yeah. yeah. But I was wondering we all were doing that. What is that doing? I mean I threw a lipless, you threw the lipless, we didn't get bit, we pick up the front side, start catching fish. I've been doing it for you. You might want to put the bigger one on though too. You got one? Yep. Are you, I'm sure you got more or I got one. You ever put the gummy worms in your YouTube videos so people see what you eat on the water and stuff? Mm -hmm. 
Every they, now and then. They comment on it like, oh, dude, I love yeah. it. Yeah. I ate a 10-piece McNugget before I caught my PB. Finally. No. Oh. That's a bass, dude. I either foul hooked it, giant. You need a net? Nah. Compared to what we've been catching, he's a giant. I thought he was a freaking tuna when it first hooked it. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today we are here on a boat with man himself. What's up? Justin Lucas. So I figured after him catching that pretty nice fish, nice fish we've caught all day, I figured we might as well go ahead and start the video off the right way with the fish catch. So today we've been fishing what fritz sides, lipless crankbait. What else? That's about it. Yeah, really? that's about it. All the bites. Justin's been showing me how to fish today, guys. Yeah. Justin's really been putting the hammer down on him. I've just I've just been trying to ask questions and learn as much as I possibly can. But we're gonna keep fishing. I'll talk to y'all as the day goes on. Goodness, dude, don't tell me I'll freak it. Here. I'm known for saying it's my PV. Okay, I'll bring it to you. I mean, I ain't gonna say it's your PV. Bad. Hey, we'll take that. Got it. Yep, got it. Fish number two for me. Three, two. Yeah, two. You see the quality of these two? Yeah. Versus out there. Better. You say two and a half. Let's two. See. Say two. Oh, at least. He's two and three quarter. Right? Two and three quarter. Yeah. Two and three quarter. Would he keep? He would keep. He would keep, he would keep all day. All right. Well, we're catching keepers, guys. South Alabama Smith. Smith Lake. Let's say it was Smith. Thought about? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Another one. South Carolina. All right, guys. We just got off the water. Justin here. He showed me how to catch fish. It was fun. Yeah. It was had fun. a lot of fun. We had a good time. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I didn't we'll do both. We'll do both. I was too worried about all my crankbaits yeah, right here that I'm trying to protect. Sides. So, but guys, we caught them on the fruit side today. We caught them on a lipless crankbait. So, I mean, it's not too far off from what I've been doing in ponds. I've been catching yeah, a lot you, of fish you on said the fruit, fruit side. side. Yeah. Good, so. Fruit side has been almost like 100% of all my fish catches here lately. It's so. just that time of year, man. Yep. That time of year. Yep. So, I definitely appreciate it today. Yeah. Had fun. Me too, dude. Enjoyed it. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. So, now we're on the way to a little tackle shop Justin told us about. We're going to go check that out. And then after that, we're going to go get some food. So, stay tuned. All right, guys. Just made it to Gunnersville Tackling Outdoors. We're going to run inside and check out the tackle selection that they have here. All right, guys, so we just made it to the tackle shop. So this is actually the lure that we were using today, a Fritz side five. They have a lot of different colors and sizes in here. They have more than I've seen. They have the five, the seven. They also have the nine in here. So there's a lot of different options when it comes to the Fritz side, but that's just the first thing that caught my eye when I came in because that's, of course, what we were using today. It's all the Berkeley stuff right here. You know, we're a big Berkeley guy right here, big Berkeley guy. So. We're gonna walk around see what we can see and stay tuned you guys one thing i love about these like little local tackle shops is like seeing the little local bait makers the people that make the jigs and the soft plastics i think that's really cool how the local tackle shops always support the local bait maker so guys we pretty much go get off the water and we go explore like a little local tackle shop kind of like walk around see what's in it met a few subscribers in the tackle shop so slim chances you're watching this what's up and then after that we went to the top of the river a little gunnersville restaurant it was really good i got like catfish no i didn't have catfish i had i can't remember what it is but it's like home cooked like seafood fresh water however you say that fish food fish 
But it was really good. I had a great time. I had a great day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. This is like one of those videos I had to save. It was kind of tough to save, but I was able to do it. I want to post it really bad, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Remember, our goal is 100,000 subscribers before Cinco de Mayo. I'm not sure what the giveaway will be or anything like that, but we'll we'll figure out something to give away. I hope that everybody enjoyed today's video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. We have South Florida videos still. I have a couple like really big videos I can't tell you all about yet but i mean just know just know they're coming they're about to come out um we've done a couple of cool challenges and it's just like i have a lot of editing to do so i have a lot of content to come out so y'all stay tuned i hope y'all enjoyed today's video don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day also justin's channel is linked down below so if you want to go check him out feel free um yeah see y'all